It's Monday, November 23rd, 2015, and this is What Did I Miss? The show that finds everything that was interesting on the internet today so that you don't have to. If you like what you see here and want to show your support, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and please share the video with all of your friends. Without further ado, let's do this. In China, a woman who was presumed dead for 10 years was found in an internet cafe playing video games. Zhao Yun left her home at the age of 14 after an argument with her parents, but has been surviving by living in internet cafes for the past decade. She relied mostly on handouts from strangers and also working as a cashier in the internet cafe using a fake ID. She played games during the day and slept in internet cafes or bathhouses at night. Over the weekend, the Belgian capital of Brussels was on lockdown after police carried out a series of raids to combat terrorism. The police requested that citizens and the media outlets not put anything out on social media. So instead, the internet does what it often does and turn to cats. Brussels flooded Twitter with pictures of cats using the hashtag Brussels Lockdown. As a result, Belgian police were able to arrest 16 suspects. No cats were harmed in the raiding of Brussels. I read an opinion piece in the New York Post by Carol Markowitz that claims that extreme feminism is hurting women just as much as it's hurting men when it comes to sex. She makes the argument that the tide term from in the 90s where women were touted as being strong and feminism now is about perpetual victimization of women. That sex is no longer a about an action between two equals, but that men are in constant control of the interaction. She goes on to explain the power imbalances that consistently put men in the line of fire. I found it to be an interesting piece, especially from a woman's perspective, so if you want to check that out, the link is in the description below. Marijuana arrests in New York City have gone down nearly 40%. Mayor de Blasio pledged to stop locking up people who are carrying small amounts of marijuana. And it seems the police are taking it seriously. Instead of jumping to cuff criminals and hauling them off to jail, police are more likely to issue tickets for low-level violations. They're ticketing suspects caught with less than 25 grams. It's still illegal, but there's no sense in filling jails with low-level violators. In Australia, parents who do not immunize their children will not be eligible for child care benefits next year. The no jab, no pay law goes into effect January 1st, 2016. And it's in response to an increase in children with diseases like whooping cough and others that have previously been eradicated. Some parliament Democrats are saying that all welfare programs should be abolished completely, saying the government is not your parent or spouse, get over it. And that's all I have for today. If you'd like to learn more about anything I talked about, links are in the description below. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and please share the video with all of your friends. And as always, I'll see you next time when you ask yourself, what did I miss?